Sorry for the long, silent intro. Just want you guys to feel my pain, too. So, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Supposedly one of these big, fancy, pro-grade, you know, great video editing softwares, right? And, of course, it starts uh, full-screen windowed, which pisses me off immensely because that's not how I edit. As far as I can tell, there's no option to change that either. So, here we are in DaVinci Resolve 12.5. Supposed to be a great piece of pro-level video editing software, right? So let's open my linebacker video that I wanted to edit and give to you guys and show you something interesting about DaVinci Resolve. So this says, do you want to change your project's timeline to the same settings of this video? And I figure, you know, this is probably the best way to make sure that the video comes out correctly is to just reuse the same settings that Shadowplay records with. So we'll change the timeline to match the video. We will go over to the edit pane. Wow, look at that fancy, fancy, gooey. The people who made all that complicated bullshit must be real smart, right? I don't know if you know how Resolve works, but you actually have to drag the video into the timeline. So we'll do that. And. Just so you guys can see it, there's a little setting that you have to turn on here to show audio waveforms right there. You can see it is checked. And this guy down here is the audio track. So, I don't know, you guys see any audio down there? You guys see any uh, audio waveforms on that track? Anything? No? Maybe if you squint and put your nose right on the screen you can look and see where I'm circling the mouse right now. There's like these tiny, tiny little crumbs of like sort of something that almost looks like an audio waveform or a tiny little bit of it right down there. But the whole rest of this thing, there's nothing. And it's not because it's scrolled down or anything. You can see you can't, you can't scroll that. You can only scroll all the tracks at the same time. So, so yeah, so there we go. Now, um, you know, there's, if you go and look up on the DaVinci forums, there's tons and tons of people asking, why can't I see the audio waveform? And there's about a hundred different answers, you know, starting with the obvious, like, oh, did you cl quick, sh click show audio waveforms? Going to very obscure shit, getting into the project settings. I have tried every single one of those things. Not a single one of them has made this work. And just so you know, it's not that there's not audio. Let me just play the video and... Uh, hate the scaling on this. Okay, 50% just to make simple things simple for my potato computer. So let's play this. You can watch the VU meters over here. Decide if you think there's audio in this or not. Hey, everybody. It's the Salty Pug Lord. How are you doing? I've transitioned to a second shift lifestyle. I'm working from 2.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. I have to say it really does suit me. I love getting up at noon. It's just the kind of person I am. So yeah, there's audio. Sure, no problem. And, you know, it's regularly getting up to this minus 10 dB mark and sometimes even higher. So it's not like there's not audio. It's just that DaVinci Resolve, for all of its bullshit fancy chrome and other crap, uh, it does not allow me to see the audio waveform and therefore does not allow me to edit my videos. Because I can't edit out my pauses and my ums and my ahs and my other little, you know, parenthetical asides that no one gives a damn about if I can't see the audio waveform. So another huge fancy, probably when it was new, was $10,000 or something. Uh, I, you know, they give this away for free now. I just went to their website. I typed in my my uh, email address and my name and they just let me download it for free. So. It's not like I pirated it and there's some kind of copy protection thing going on. No, this is directly from their website. They give it away for free and it doesn't work. It just does not work. It does not do the most basic thing that you need to be able to do 
when you are ed editing a gameplay video, a narrated gameplay video for YouTube. Doesn't work. I wish you guys could have heard the rant that I went on about OpenCut or OpenShot. I can't remember which it is now. They had a really clear, minimal, very functional GUI. And none of the editing functions worked at all. It really sent me into a rage. So I don't know what to do at this point. I feel like I've tried every possible free video editing problem program, with the exception of um, Hit Film 4, because that one demands that you give them your Facebook login before they'll let you download a copy. And that's never, ever going to happen. Fuck those guys, seriously. Unbelievable bullshit. Maybe I need to just wait until I have a more powerful computer and so that shot cut or open shots uh, performance bullshit and inability to perform reasonably on more than adequate hardware just won't matter anymore when I get my Ryzen 1800X. Maybe that's the solution. Or, you know, I brag about how I swing the big programmer dick all the time. Maybe it's time for me to write my own video editing software with blackjack and hookers. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you guys. I have footage that I want to share. I want to make videos for you. But like a carpenter who can't seem to find a hammer and instead is throwing nails in with a rock, I'm incredibly frustrated. This seems so simple and so obvious and so easy to me. And yet I can't find a program that will do it worth a goddamn. I don't know what to do. If you have some suggestions for me, I'd love to hear them. In the meantime, stay salty, my friends.